Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Decker Link, the trained unprofessional, and that last episode was. You know what? Let's just not talk about it and hope to God it stops after. You know, I'm gonna finish this route, and then I may or may not ever come back to this game. If I do, it's gonna be for Todahiko because that's my favorite character at this point. To do a proper Todahiko, not Todahiko. God damn it! I meant Tatsuni, Tatsuki, Tatsuki. God, this game. It's a toll. It's a toll at the toll bridge of life. Every time I play it, it takes life away from me. Un. Un. Ugh. Thump. Overreacting to the noise heard above me, I vigorously jump up. This, is my, this makes my left and right left brain and right brain go into full operation. In other words, I start self-processing afterwards. I roll down and return to my futon, or maybe I should say that after is irrelevant. To summarize the main point, I realize what we did. Couldn't you just say that? Could you not just say that? First I shake my buzzing head. There are no mistakes in memory, or uh, that sort of thing. Ah, uh, it's just a natural course of events. Or well, maybe that book is to blame, no matter how I look at it. A great number of flags come forth. It was inevitable. Shun Kun was urging me as well. That's right, I'm not at fault here. Oh, yeah, you see, if you gotta justify it, maybe there's something more to it. I'm just. No, it's my fault. Shun Kun didn't know about ejaculation. I taught him about it. It's something you're supposed to do with somebody you love, not a friend. However, it's also the first stage of sexual activity. It was written that an older person should teach him how to respond to an ejaculation, to an erection. Masturbation and oral are two very different things. But, but, but with the way that he was twitching, it wanted me to sigh. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, he's awake. James, son? I'm lowering his voice. James, son? I can't do that voice in good conscience. What? <laughs> he suddenly calls out my name and, and it frightens me. He's been there for a while. A wah wah, it's Shun Kun. And you, Chame San, good morning. G good morning. And I gesture appropriate to, uh, for the mimetic, mimetic word. N -n 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 what the hell? Shun Kun dozes off in his bed. Uh, I should take action from you, shouldn't I? I turn towards Shun Kun, who has sat up. Um, Shun Kun, earlier, not yesterday evening. Oh my god. You came over to stay overnight. Fun you, thank you very much. Yeah, don't mention it. You didn't faint after all. That's right, I fainted, then you came over, I had dinner, took a bath. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why the violin music? Why do I need violin music right now? What? Who does that help? Ha! Turning red, Shunkun is able to grasp it. He remembered, didn't he? You know, last night there was that. How, 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 woof! Ah. I'm embarrassed. Sorry, I am really sorry. Put my hands together in front of my face and bow deeply. I apologize and feel like running. I'm I thought you taught me because I asked. Jameson, don't apologize. A wah 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 wah. For him to say something like that, I went too far to feel regret and feel regret. Shun Kun, uh, but I was teaching you a little too quickly, or too much actually. I regret it, and so I still apologize. I'm sorry. That was bad of me in more ways than one. James Son, no, it wasn't. Please teach me again, won't you? <laughs> no, please let's not go through this again. God damn it, no. <laughs> Shunkun turns red not just in his cheeks, but up in his ears. His slightly moist, sleepy eyes look at mine, and he whispers in a tiny voice, Thank you for those delicious words. I'm rejoicing in the back of my head and crushed with what seems to be feelings of guilt. Again, huh? Shunkun, are you hungry? Now that you mention it, I'm really hungry. Want to get something to eat? Yes, somehow regaining my sanity, I weave my words. Shunkun answers energetically, standing from his bed, and starts changing his clothes, intermittently looking at me. 
Looks like he's a little hesitant. We can't go back to the time where we, he could undress without me looking, can't we? So, um, I'll go out, okay? Okay. I'll leave him with his ears and tail down, feeling awkward. For now, I exit the room. Anyways, before eating, I must put away the Coterie Family Sex Guidebook. Uh, and that's the end of the whole day? Just getting up and leaving? Is it? Wow, this game really is going to go fast, isn't it? I think it, uh... I keep hearing that either it goes to the 22nd or to the end of the month. I hope it goes to the 22nd so that I only have four more days of this shit and then I could be done. Then be done, be out of the way. <laughs> I wonder what I should do today. Oh, finally, thank God. Oh, uh, well, there's only one option, and that's more Shunkun, so why did it give me that option? Why did it... Jesus. Ooh, ooh, new. Ah, feels like this happened just the other day. The only thing different from that time is that there are two people in front of me. It wasn't me that it, that made Shunkun cry, but Shinkun? What? What's happening? For the first time in a while, the cloudy sky, combined with pleasant and gentle breeze, drives away the usually feverish atmosphere. To be honest, I've been wanting a break from the summer template of a blue sky and shining sun. My shirt isn't sticking to my skin this morning. That's great. <laughs> now my field of vision is... Yay, yay, yay! Boing, boing, boing. Shunkun hops on the ground with both feet and... Hey, you're gonna fall over frolicking around like that. Judging from his tone of voice, he's not intending on strongly chiding him. Shin Shinkun calmly laughs. It's a charming scene of summer vacation. Today I'm being escorted to Minasato's shrine by Shunkun. We happen to meet Shinkun along the way, and he joins us. At first I was worried whether or not we would be he would be interested, but he unexpectedly came along when I invited him. According to Shinkun, it's because he doesn't have to worry about getting sunburned. Dragon God, prepare your mustache! What the fuck does that mean? The happy wolf wags his tail and sings a song. Before before he goes out, he gets dressed. Mustache. Yeah, he can't fly very well with if his mustache is bent because it doesn't look good. That's why it's cloudy today. What? It's no good. I can't understand a word he's saying. I sheepishly turn to my side to get help from Shinkun. You probably guessed why I'm confused. After blinking with surprise for a moment, Shinkun slowly explains. It's because it's standard for gods to be above the sky. That's right! So they get dressed to t or take a bath, so when they get dressed to take a bath, they make a certain- they make a curtain of clouds because they're embarrassed. Oh, I see. When you open the lid, it's like a phrase from a picture book or children's song. Shunkun happily t talks with big round eyes. Is Shunkun really around the same age as us? I'm starting to worry about him a little. Shinkun's, Shinkun's songs always have profound meanings, don't they? Really? It's simple and pure when you say it like that. Take it the wrong way and it's an old-fashioned country thing. It's legends of Minasato have taken root in Shunkun while I have been stained by urban living. It's a soft, heartwarming fantasy. We trudge, along, we trudge along the riverside. Fresh, fresh water from the mountains flows into this village, branches as it goes downstream, and delivers moisture to all the corners of the land. Nevertheless, the water here is amazingly clear. If I look closely, I can see fish swimming around. What's the matter? Why are you staring like that? Oh, I, I was thinking about how clear the river water is. Isn't that, is that strange? Well, really, it's so clean. I could swim in it. I see. It looks away in disinterest. Uh, is this not a good topic? This whole river is Dragon King's Pathway. Eh? Once again, Shun-kun teaches us about Minasato's legends. He swims in the river and always patrols the field of rice pa and rice paddies. Hmm. That's why there was a good harvest last year. I see. The Dragon King sure is great, isn't he? Yep! <laughs> Shun-kun is quite pleased at being praised for what he said. 
On the other hand, next to me, Shin Kun opens his mouth to speak about what doesn't make sense. About what doesn't make sense. Even on a cloudy day like today. What? Doesn't he get dressed on cloudy days? Yes. If that's the case, to say he is always patrolling is wrong. Woof. <laughs> Shin Kun is bewildered by what Shin Kun accurately pointed out. A push you push sound comes from his head out in confusion. Sometimes I feel like I'm just reading things insanely wrong, and then other times I remember what game I'm playing. His head is likely to overheat if this continues. Shin Kun does have a valid point, but it's just a simple legend, so he should let it slide. Hey, Shin Kun and Shin Kun. We're almost there. Why did they have to pair these two up? The most confusingly named people, or at least confusing for each other. We're almost there, so shouldn't we get going? I pressed the both of them to on. I see. You're siding with Shun Kun, aren't you? Huh? Shun Kun mutters out a, in a delicate voice. I can barely hear him from where I'm standing. All right then, shall we go? Watch your step, Shun Kun. Uh, okay. And we're here! After climbing the stone stairs, the three of us line up and put our hands together. The God of Dragons is revered in at Minasato's Shrine, the Dragon King Shunkun spoke of earlier. By the way, what are you praying for? <laughs> it's a secret! Oh, well, I'll pray that you'll tell me what you're praying for. <laughs> now, that's cheating! <laughs> the Dragon King is very powerful! If you do that, I definitely won't be able to keep it a secret! <laughs> Seems really impatient. Back when I was a kid in Minnesota, <laughs> I keep wanting to say Minnesota. Uh, was the Dragon King's power this great? All right then, I'll stop. I guess I'll pray for your healthy growth. Okay, thank you very much. What about you, Shin Kun? What are you praying for? If he lives in this shrine, will he show himself to us? Is what I'm praying for. What? And the Dragon King hasn't appeared. This proves that he, in fact, does not live here. Is Shunkun some sort of malicious character? Why do we have rock music all of a sudden? For example, Shunkun continues talking. Oh, it's gotten somewhat aggressive, or rather, the peaceful atmosphere has drifted away. Shunkun, the Dragon King is above the sky and also in the river. After that, he watches us on the shrine grounds, right? Yes. Because there's only one Dragon King, I don't think that's a very convenient story. <laughs> Earlier, you said he is always patrolling the river, so he can't be up in the sky or at the shrine for very long. There has been a curtain of clouds since morning, and he's listening to shrine visitors? There isn't an adequate explanation for this. But, 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 I hear from my family all the time that the Dragon God is protecting the village. It doesn't matter what kind of stories you hear, the inconsistencies are a problem. <laughs> Why does the fucking atheist have to have the hard rock music? <laughs> Shinkun is only questioning things that does that don't make sense. However, his sharp tone has unfortunately frightened Shinkun. Woof. If you can come up with an explanation, I'd like to hear it. Although I think it's a little childish, was this what I was worried about from before? He focuses his gaze directly at Shunkun, looking as if he was going to take a bite out of him. Uh, crying to get out of trouble isn't very admirable. What the hell? Part of this seems to be Shunkun's fault. Should I give it a little give it a little response? Hey, it probably depends on the Dragon King's mood. Sometimes he wants to be in the sky, and sometimes he wants to be in the river. Then always is incorrect. No! The Dragon King is protecting us! Hear that, Shin Kun? The legend says so. And you completely believe what Shin Kun is saying? Huh? He changes the name of attack in this conversation. What Shin Kun and I are talking about, or rather, feeling, doubt about. What Shin, what Shin Kun and I are talking about, or rather, feeling, doubt about Minasato's legends. Do you think there aren't any contradictions, or are you thinking logically? Do you agree with me, or at the very least the store or at the very least the stories don't match up, do they not? Why is he snapping at me like that? It's natural, and it's unnatural because it's a legend. I'd like to hear James's opinion. James son? The issue of the current situation has changed to whether I agree with Shunkun or Shinkun, but both of you don't need to get so serious. Crap. 
If I... I haven't seen the word crap typed out in a long time. It's kind of nice. If I don't come up with a proper explanation for the Dragon King, it's only a matter of time before Shun-kun starts to fighting with me. On the other hand, I also want to avoid offending Shin-kun, his tail swinging around with displeasure. It's kind of scary. What should I do? Support Shun-kun! That's... That's what we're here to do. This is the Shun-kun route all of a sudden. Started as one, went to another, went to another, came back to that one, and uh, support Shun-kun, goddammit. I agree with Shun-kun. Yay, James-san! Shun-kun uh, Shun immediately regains his smile. His tail is wagging as if it's going to break off. Maybe he forgot to open the curtains after getting dressed. So that doesn't necessarily mean he's always in the sky when it's cloudy. Can you explain how he's swimming in the river, protecting the village, and also living at the shrine? He's a god, so he has the great ability to see faraway places. He can foresee that movement of tiny creatures like us. So even if he's in the sky, in the river, or at the shrine, he is able to always watch over us. You could just say omnipresence, that's how the Christians get out of it. <laughs> I see. However, if he can foresee what goes on in the village, then there's no need for him to go out of his way to patrol. He wants everybody to see himself dressed up. Why doesn't he appear at the shrine when I prayed for him to do so? Er, he would appear, but he doesn't want to be embarrassed, so he went back to the sky to prepare his mustache. Again, he shows himself through his creations. That's how the Christians get out of it. I think he'll show up at your house sometime tonight. Dots, dots, dots! Woof! <laughs> did, did I get through that somehow? Shunkun smiling in his consent, in consent is proof of that more than anything else. On the other hand, Shinkun lets out a single sigh. Forget it. I understand James's opinion. Even though I thought he was my friend. What? He faintly murmured, so I still couldn't hear him very well. Nothing. And Shunkun. Yes? Shinkun's nomination scares Shunkun. Don't just accept what you hear from others without question. You should learn to doubt its authenticity. I agree with Shinkun, but that's not the point of the game right now. Can I say Shin? Shinkun? That's who I agree with. The cat. I think you should question things, and I have a long standing doubt about. I assert about religious stuff, but whatever. But, no buts. You should know when things don't make sense. Even things you believe from the bottom of your heart. You didn't answer my questions earlier. That should be more convincing than anything else. James's answers were less than credible. Okay. You're right about that. And so there's no need to pick a quarrel over something so childish. I'm sorry. Okay, that's enough. Not being able to stand this cutting tone I set between them. Shunkun, are you alright? Yeah, Sniffle. I'm okay. Dots. Shinkun's Dragon God is still great. Yeah, that's right. The Dragon God is watching over us, so... In order to convince himself, Shinkun continues to mutter. Even so, what Shinkun said seems to have stuck with him. His unclouded faith from earlier is no longer reflected in his eyes. It looks like he's completely discouraged. He really did believe in the legend of the Dragon God. Maybe it's my fault for saying too much. Oh, another day has passed. Are we gonna do that Bond Festival thing? I thought that was like... Is that the climax of this story? The moon is beautiful. as It's, it's as scary as it is beautiful. Sensitive to every particle of air, the terminal nerves throughout my whole body are tingling this night. At times like this, there's no telling what I'll do. Even without that, I feel some, somehow feel that there have been many sexual stimuli in my daily routine recently. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 I'll handle it properly before I surrender myself to my growing excitement and end up being indebted to somewhere like a police station. Then I'll go to bed. Hello, are you there, James son? Ah, visitor. Because I don't have the skillfulness to pretend that I'm out. I'll decide, decide to stand up slowly. Yeah, I should be able to deal with a visitor, right? Oh, God. Jameson, why is he slightly red? Why is his voice somewhat coaxing? And above all else, why is he visiting this late? 
This is awfully pleasant. Or, I mean, rare. <laughs> His tail is swinging more voluptuously than usual. He's drunk. He's gotta be drunk. He's gotta be Kane! Is he tempting me? Is there nothing that I c that can stop him, stop my slightly high tension tonight? James, son, do you want to go out and play? Um... Agree without thinking of the consequences? I mean, sure, I guess? I mean, he is someone that you play with... I don't know... The inside of my head should be moderately numbed every once in a while. Aren't there nights where a calm decision is impossible? This is one of those nights, so... Alright, we're... Oh, Jesus. You you need to back the fuck off, buddy. You are... F you, you are too excited. I am not happy with this. His light brown coat shines in the dazzling moonlight. His collarbone peeking through the nape of his neck is, is caught in my field of vision with more precision than usual. I shouldn't be doing this. I shake my head from side to side, trying to maintain normal thoughts. Everything is connecting to my sexual desire. Why did I have to give in and say, yeah, earlier? Usually I think he's cute or adorable, but tonight he is all been converted to nothing but PORN! Oh, God, no, for that, please put in your favorite erogenous word. <laughs> oh, God. My only salvation is... <laughs> yay, yay, yay! Are Shinkun's feet not touching the ground? In a sense of the meaning of the sentence, or in a physical sense. I'm afraid he's going to wander into the onto the nighttime street happily skipping around like that. Uh, while I'm thinking about that, he gallops back to me. james son, hey, hey, are you coming? He pulls on my arm. Since Shinkun is so restless, it would be terrible if I left him alone. I must watch over him. My circuit, my circuit to say that occasionally reacts. What the, what? Somehow I am able to keep calm. Ah, Shun-kun, the most dangerous thing is your Oni-san in front of you. If I can avoid this be just being the two of us, I might be able to get through this all right. Or rather, something is likely to happen when it's just the two of us. While I'm endlessly worrying, Shun-kun looks back and earnestly advances towards the moonlight. Very bouncy. Who's coming for your weight? Oh, Jesus, he is so drunk. Tonight's song is particularly spirited. Oh, Jesus. Daifuku. <laughs> it has already lost coherence. Oh, Jesus. Assault? <laughs> Where? <laughs> wait, Shunkun. Hurry, hurry. No, wait a minute. We're sprinting at full speed now? Daifuku will get called the what? It seems he's already, he's already completely intoxicated by the moon. Yeah, the moon is what did it. Uh, I am too. When I walk, the frustrations below my abdomen interfere with reason. Oh, I should have at least dealt with that before leaving. We should visit somebody's house to avoid this just being the two of us. Okay, so we have to choose someone. Um, and I, 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 Kanesuke, I don't feel like doing a Christopher Wonkin thing. Tetsuni's place, let's go there. We're going to play at Tetsuki-san's place? Yeah, I think he's still awake. Let's race then, huh? The first one to hug Tetsuni san, Tetsuki san wins! Huh? What? Shunkun, what the fuck? Go! Oh, Jesus. And Shunkun of the, then Shunkun of the night once again takes off at maximum speed. It's dirty when I add of the night. No, I have to chase him. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Alright, I'm done seeing Shunkun's back at Tatsuni's house. I can finally slow down. I unsteadily stagger through the gate. Just as I expected, I'm welcomed by a party going on at full swing. Oh, Jesus, they're all drunk. You! The thing in front of me is where the greeting came from. It's prettier than a picture. There's the moon glittering in the midsummer night sky and two dragons. The Midoriya father and son have pulled seats out into the garden and are in the middle of the watch of wa and watching the moon. And there's no mistaking that Tatsuni is completely drunk. Tapei is not on screen for some reason. Thankfully, Tapei's son is asleep. Okay, no wonder. I pitifully don't have the self confidence to defend the small wolf from those two. No way, that body blow, that body blow from earlier was James's training. What body blow? 
Soon charged in at mock speed right into my dad's chest. He just fell over and hit his head. Oh, Jesus. It's been a long time since I've seen such an amazing flying technique. <laughs> Don't compliment him. Is Taipei-san Taipei gonna be okay? You haven't trained enough to knock me out with something of that level. Is what he'd say. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll get up sooner or later. Really. The blood on the floor doesn't really seem to support your opinion. By the way, there are compl there are empty bottles strewn here and there, but there's f freshly su fresh supply outside. There's no way that both of them opened all of these, is there? All right, you drink too soon. Okay, thank you very much. Wait, 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 wait. This is usual to Tatsuni, but what is a good counterattack for Shunkun? Wait, wait a minute, Tatsuni, don't. What? Can't you see that moon? Look, even I'm reflected in it. Wow, it's beautiful. He pours a clear liquid into an empty bowl. A white outline floats on the surface and sways to and fro. Now, drink up! Let's drink the moon! <laughs> oh no, Jesus. No, Shunku, no. Hanya! Act quickly. That juice is really bitter. Uh, I don't think you should drink it. Oh, wow! <laughs> But didn't Tetsuki-san say it was sweet syrup? Shunkun puts down his sake bowl and pounces on Tatsuni. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I do have another sweet spot, though. Ugh. Shunkun's eyes shine with anticipation. On the other hand, Tatsuni's eyes are admitting a mysterious light, and his left hand is across his belt. I drag Shunkun along and decide to leave that place. Oh, Jesus. So you just need to tightly suck. Oh, Jesus. The tube is thin, so you have to get it pretty far in your mouth. What the fuck? Is uh, soon, James? Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? That's fucked. As usual, my airheaded brain mistakes Shunkun for somebody else. While I'm not watching him, I arrive at a field of sunflowers. There are lots of sunflowers, aren't there? They feel a little out of place in the dark. Is this is this used when they ship out the crops? What? We sit on a high wooden crate and change from moon viewing to flower viewing. Why, Shunkun, are you in such high spirits this evening? Why did you go out at such a late hour in the first place? Curiosity surges into swirling doubt. Shall I question him for a moment? Hey, Shunkun. So, eh? My childhood friend, after being ever having walked around the village for a while, has wholeheartedly dozed off and is making cute breathing noises in his sleep. Shunkun? Pee wolf. You sleepy? I'm not sleepy. I want to play with you some more. He nods off, and his body is beyond control. If he keeps up, if this keeps up, he might collapse. Should we go home soon? We're still playing. He leans on the upper half of my body. A. Shunkun's sweet scent softly carries over to me. Mm. He pushes his muzzle into my chest and attempts to stabilize his posture. Or rather, he's trying to hug me. His arms wrap around me and tightly cling to me. Whoa, he's really warm. His body heat transfers to me by contact. Soupy. <laughs> He has really fallen asleep. Right, this position, this posture is quite painful for both of us. I want to get comfortable somehow. Waking Shunkun up is going home, and going home making makes sense to deal with this. But this feels too good. I've been waiting so long for this chance to be close to him. I think I'll take advantage of this to get and to get some extra benefits. Ah, I shake my head. It's no use. This has been decided since I left home, hasn't it? Shinkun has been seduced by the moon. I have to take care not to awaken strange feelings. We should uh, leave before because I'm supposed to be watching over him. No, let's consider the opposite. The opposite was it the opposite? I skipped too fast. Shunkun invited me out. Did he intend to relive the numbness of our bodies fueled by the moonlight together? That's right. Shunkun and I have both been intoxicated by the moon, haven't we? In Jameson, if that's the case, Shunkun, I should meet the expectation of the of the right way to spend a summer night, shouldn't I?
let him sleep, or pester him for a kiss. Now, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this. This whole route is extremely uncomfortable for me, but I'm just going to have to treat it like he is... Like he's just another character, and at this moment, it would be so sweet. Like if it was if it, if it was Spencer and fucking is it Adam? Is Adam with Spencer or is who is when it's not Adam? Who the fuck? Whoever is with Spencer in extracurricular activities, if it's if it's if it was them, then it would it would be super sweet to go for a kiss. So I guess we'll do that. Shunkun. Yes. I point to my cheek. Can I get you to push against here? <laughs> How? Your mouth. Rather, your lips. Your mouth. Just. <laughs> As expected, this is a little awkward. Yeah, a fucking little bit. I wonder if that was shameless. On the other hand, Shunkun consents, and I and I put both of our hands together in front of my chest. Oh, this is how you say goodnight, isn't it? <laughs> I remember this. I used to always do it in my futon. What? Uh, this is probably different than what you're thinking of. <laughs> While I mutter that, his body starts to hang on to me. He brings his lips closer to, close to my shoulder. Funyu. I feel his soft muzzle on, and on my cheek and chin, then it runs up to my left cheek. A sweet smell carried by the night wind tickles my nose. He does it again, on the right side this time. His fur feels soft, and his inner heat rubs against me. However, I'm dumbfounded by the next movement of Shunkun's Shun -kun face. Good night, Jameson. After that, he reseats re re himself sideways, and leans his shoulder against me with a pleasant weight and body temperature. Before I know it, his left hand is wrapped around my right. Aww. And he makes the healthy breathing of a sleeping person. It probably took less than three seconds, but it felt so much longer to me. Was it because of the moonlight or the effect of his body heat? It was slightly different from the kiss that I had wanted. And my head is somewhat reeling from this more sensational gesture. I'm surprised he had such an obscene bedtime ritual. I mean, there are families that kiss each other on the mouth. Like mothers and kids, parents and kids, and that's very weird to me. I don't want that ritual, um, but a, but you know Titus O'Neil did it on live TV, so I guess that's fine. Shun Kun, who had been continuously talking, has become silent. While I look at his sleeping face and sometimes the sunflowers, I don't give in to my excitement and cool down. And the end of another day. August the 22nd. This is the day that for some reason I believe that it... Okay, so this this might not be the end of the game. It could just be the day of the festival. So the game might actually go to the 30th. Because if I remember correctly, on day 15, it said that we were halfway done. So we might have a lot more fucking episodes of this game to come. I know some people like that. Some people are excited for that. I just want this game to be done. Because <laughs> it, it saddled me with a route I didn't want. God damn it. <laughs> people keep saying, no, just restart the game, just restart it, start again. I don't want to do that. I came back to this series so that I could get a run done. That's all I want to do. Like, what I want to do with this game is from start to finish, play it. That's it. If it's good, if it's bad, if it's ugly, I played it from start to finish. That's what I intended to do with this game. And the fact that I had to stop because I was taking it the wrong way before, now is not a problem. Everything is fine. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to go back and try to do it perfect. I'm not going to try to do everyone's route. I might come back and try to do a route better. But I'm not going to go by a wiki and tr not like BUI, but go according to a wiki to try to get everything done perfectly. 
I don't enjoy playing games like that. I just don't. Some people do. Some people are completionists. Some people play games because they want to get everything the exact right way. For me, I p enjoy a game by playing it and enjoying it thusly. That's what I am doing with this playthrough. That's what I'm doing with all the playthroughs. That's it. That's it. If it happens to be good, great. If it doesn't, then it's real, and that's the point. So, that's my plan with this game. When I hear festival music, is getting my heart excited for no particular reason part of human nature? What? Even though it's the first time I've been to Minnesota, Minnesota festival in f five years, it's as if there is an illusion that I've come here last summer and the summer before that that tickles my nostalgia. The sweet fragrance of the burning sugar and cotton candy, the voices of playing children. The time for the festival is to start is near. Today I'm waiting to meet Shunkun here. My summer vacation is approaching its final stage, so I thought I would make some extraordinary memories and invite Shunkun to the festival. Well, that's nice! Furthermore, not together with everybody else, but just the two of us. So when I talked to Shunkun about it, he looked surprised, but gave me a happy, albeit confused, reply. His smile looked a little awkward. I wonder if the other day is still, still on his mind. The, the other day, when I stayed overnight at Shunkun's house, or perhaps I should st say when I helped him with the lower half of his body, I guided him with his first time, just so to speak. He was so cute. It felt so light and silky. Ew. Yes, I'm reflecting on it. That conversation we had afterwards also went well. I don't remember going, what? What happened? Did we just go into the void? What the fuck happened? James Thun, thank you very much. Although he seemed embarrassed, he smiled, and when he said that, I couldn't stand it and wanted to run away. My reason was that I was teaching him, are we literally just doing this again? What to do and uh, when down there won't calm down. He was really embarrassed and couldn't talk to anyone about it, so I became affectionate and guided him. He was so happy, he was happy for that. It was because of Jameson. He mutters my name with a deep red face. It's more orange this time around, I don't know why. That's right. It was for the healthy growth of my important childhood friend. What I taught him was something seriously indispensable. I decided to think of it that way, for now. Making sure of the few opportunities I have, I slowly and carefully savored something I rarely get to eat. What? Then we engaged in an act known to lovers, and I guided him to the climax. Why are we having to reflect on this? Okay, we're done now, right? That said, inside me there was still a lingering feeling that I did something I shouldn't have. That's why I hope Shunkun can fully enjoy himself at today's festival. Target shooting, masks, cotton candy, and baked rice crackers. We'll go around in the food stalls together, and make making his eyes shine, going around twice with my childhood friends standing on tiptoe while ransacking the night fair. That would be lovely. After a while, I'll ask if he wants to take a break because he's tired. I'll look for a place to sit together with pure-hearted Shunkun. And then I'll suddenly want to eat a baby sponge cake. I'll wait at our spot while Shunkun looks for a food stall. He'll bring a paper bag containing other sweets as well. Then I'll gently ask, what was that stall's name? And then his head will go down in embarrassment for fried penis. <laughs> what? 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 What the fuck? I would be louder, but Bree is sleeping. Fried penis. What the fuck? Why? Why? <laughs> He'll answer in a voice I won't be able to hear. Because of that, I'll go around and check whether or not it corresponds to any of the stalls open in the last 30 minutes, and also the decided route. And I'll be sure not to forget to buy chocolate-covered bananas, frankfurters, and all sort of long and thick fr Why are you trying to penis this poor boy? My love might be distorted. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Even though I've been standing around, Shinkun hasn't arrived. Our meeting time was three minutes ago. So far, he's never shown up so at the last minute until now. Oh, Jesus, James Sun. James Sun, Shunkun, good God. Good evening, isn't this rare? Usually earlier than this. Sorry, did, did I keep you waiting? You don't need to apologize, I just got here too. It's not usually like this, though, so I was surprised. Eh. Now then, should we get going? I turn towards the shrine and start walking, but Shunkun doesn't move his feet. 
um, Jameson? What's wrong? He keeps fidgeting, his tail swings restlessly. Um, I want to go over there for a little bit. Then he indicates with a sidelong glance in the opposite direction of the shrine. Huh? Why? You came here for the festival today, right? I'm sorry. He stiffens up as if I bet he'd been scolded. Doesn't it seem like something is bothering him? Oh, I see. Shunkin, are you perhaps... Hmm? Worrying about not having a yukata? Yukata, 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 yo! Sounds like a puke of sorts. He's in his familiar blue and white hoodie. Everybody around here is wearing festival clothing. Oh, it's a... So he must be hesitant to get into a crowd of people just the way he is. Yeah. You shouldn't worry about something like that. You're cute, even in your usual outfit. So why don't we go and have some fun at the festival we've been waiting so long for, hmm? Place both my hands on his tiny shoulders and look down at him. I would say let's go together, but Shunkun doesn't make eye contact. Yeah, um, I can't. You still want a Yakuta? That's not it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to the festival. Wow! Towards the end was in a faint voice that I couldn't hear very well. He bows his head down sadly. His small body that would probably be swallowed up by the hustle and bustle echoing from the inner part of the shrine grounds. Tightly grasped the hem of his shirt to endure, endure something. Hmm, Shunkun? Is something wrong? Why are you making that painful expression? I bend my knees on the spot and continue talking uh, while looking up a little. He's still acting strange. I'm sorry, James Thun. You've been looking forward to the festival, but I... His eyes begin to moisten. For now, uh, and you would make good moves to, uh, away from here. I understand. Anyway, we should we should go over there, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's going on? We go off the path that leads to the shrine, to where even the light of the paper lan lanterns doesn't reach. The sun is setting in Minasato at the usual time. Shunkun is still looking down. Shunkun. I feel like I didn't say his name right. I can only feel his weak grasp in my palm. We push forward silently, but the festival music gradually disappears behind us. On the other hand, even the insects are having a party this evening. Are you not feeling well? Uh, I'm okay. That tone of voice doesn't seem at all okay. Rather than ask him why he doesn't want to go to the festival, the first thing I'll do is calm him down. Here. I sit down on one knee and turn my back to him. Hmm? I'll carry you on my back. I'm not a kid. I just wanted to carry you all of a sudden. It's no more than that. Nobody's watching too, right? No. He gets on relatively obediently. I'm strangely conscious of the slenderness of the arms around my neck. I attach both arms to his butt and lift up. When we're this close together, I want him to be as comfortable as possible. How is it? Is it hurting your legs? No. You can cry too, okay? Say no more and start walking. A short time later, he squeezes his arms. I can hear him sniffling and weeping. Because Shunkun says nothing, I don't say anything either. It's just the sound of his crying, the insects in the distant festival. Without passing by anybody, we arrive at the river. The flow of the cool water alleviates the heated air. Is it around here okay? Yes. Seems he's already calmed down considerably. Oomph. I gently set my childhood friend down. Oh, goodness. When you want to cry, it's better to do so comfortably, isn't it? James, I'm sorry. I got your shirt wet. Since earlier, Shinkun has been apologizing. Now that he mentions it, it does. It is a bit damp around my shoulders. We sit side by side. That's enough of that. More importantly, your face is all messy. I take out a handkerchief and wipe away, and wipe away uh, the traces of tears. This fur doesn't return to its distorted state but there's nothing I can do about that. I guess it'll be better if it stays wet. Thank you, Wolf. This slightly strange smile is sad. Did you not want to go to the festival with me? I say out loud a question I've been thinking about since a while ago. After all, what did what we did that night has been done. Even if I make some kind of excuse, or no matter how much I talk about it, there's a very high chance he could be afraid and change his mind. That's not it. I was really happy to go with you. But... But? but? He slowly tells me the whole story. It's about the other day. 
Wow, Samu! Told me about the Kotori family's role in the festival. The role of a Miko. What's a Miko? The role of a Miko. Yes, for generations, the Kotori family. The Kotori has served as the Miko for the festival. This year it's my turn. But then I wouldn't have been able to go to the festival with you, even though I was looking forward to it. That's why I said I didn't want to. Then Yuao Sama got very angry at me. You don't understand the importance of the ceremony, only thinking of acting for yourself. It's absurd, he said. Really? After he told after that he told me I wasn't even able to help with the preparations for the Bond Festival. He said I'm a shameful heir to the Coterie family. You were exhausted at the time, but it's not your fault. It is my fault. I'm a burden for you too. I only think of myself. Large tears dropped like rain and streamed down his half dried cheeks. I once again pre present to him my handkerchief from earlier. I don't think you were a burden. It was really fun when I stayed overnight with you. There's no lies in my heart. Thank you. To smooth things over with it while Sama and I, a relative came between us. He said, Do I have to be the Miko? And while Sama got extremely angry, why? I think Gakusan popped into his head. Before the ceremony, he suddenly appeared in Minasato. Wasama doesn't recognize Gakusan as a co coterie. Then he said, Don't talk about him. After that, he got worked up. He was angry for a while. My uncle and aunt somehow calmed him down. He told me, Please go home for now. And I went back to my house. After that, I got a call from Gakusan. He said he's going to be the Miko this time. So I can go and play with you without having to worry about it. He said I should enjoy myself. Because I worked so hard around the time of the Bond Festival, but... But... Gakusan also hates Iwao-sama. What? He also hates our old-fashioned customs and the way of life for the heir of the Kotori family. That's why Gakusan left Minasato. I think he's putting up with all of that and taking over the for me as... as this role... This, this, this role... This, 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 oh, fuck! So when I thought about that, I that I'm nothing but trouble for Gakusan and everyone else, I think. I couldn't hear the last part. Tears were soaking his face. Sniffle. And I went to the shrine, but it got really painful. You were waiting for me, but even though you've been waiting for this festival, I'm sorry, James son. It's your first time at this festival in five years, but things ended up this way. I'm okay with that. More importantly, cry anymore. I know it's not your fault. It's all my fault. I made a while so I'm angry. I'm troubling Gakusan and I'm ruining your festival. I was supposed to be the one in the ceremony. He squeezes out no more words than that, grasps his knees and begins to shake and tremble. He really was looking forward to going to the festival with me. So he tried to go one way or another. That all backfired and didn't turn out well for him. James son. Hold Shun Kun's huddled up body close from the side. I don't want him to make him sad anymore. Not wanting to shed any more tears, I increased the strength in my arms. Then Oh, that's just fireworks. Okay. <laughs> I thought we got shot for a second. The fireworks are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. To be able to watch the fireworks with you, that alone makes me happy. Even though eating stuff at a stall and making a lot of noise is fun, being together with you like this is the best. Hey. Uh, Wan! Name, son! Cat Shun Kun, who jumped at me head on. The body heat I felt from behind earlier is now up front. I thought we wouldn't be able to go be, wouldn't be, a wouldn't be able to be together. I've been thinking that I could see you again after five years, only for this summer. I couldn't see you during those five years, so... Thank you. Hmm? I'm really happy you want to be with me. I feel the same way. Oh, James, son! Uh... <clears throat> There'll be a festival next year, and the year after that. Uh... Oh, holy shit. I'll come back to see you. 
Then we'll meet up again, right? Fly hiccup, yeah. Target shooting, mass, cotton candy, and baked rice crackers. I like stuff like kata katstanuki too. And after that, peppermint flutes. Oh, but I'm not very good at the bond dance, so you'll have to teach me. Yeah, I I will. I want to do that with you, Sniffle. Next year, the year after that, and this summer too. Let's do more together, okay? Okay, Jameson. Come on, smile, goddammit! Fireworks I haven't seen in Minnesota for five years were beautiful, and I got to watch them with Shunkun. For me, the time I got to spend with him is irreplaceable. I don't want to make him cry anymore. Yay! August 24th. Alright, so, whoa! Wasn't it... Did we just skip the 23rd, I guess? Well... I guess this game doesn't end on the 22nd, then. So we're going to be doing more of these for a while. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trained and professional, speaking for the voices in my head when I say, until next time, fare thee well. Bye, everyone!